One of the injuries that can happen this summer are fractured teeth. Joining us today to talk about those are Dr. Bruce Goringer from the Goringer Family Dentistry Practice in the Back Mountain. Dr. Goringer, good to see you. You too, Dave. Well, fractured teeth, common summer injury. There are a number of different ways that teeth can get uh, broken, let's say, over the summer. Sure are. Uh, we see it all the time. Uh, baseball bats get in the way. Uh, bicycling. Uh, the kids are out bicycling during the day. So are, so are adults. And they have uh, you know, a little mishap and, and catch themselves on their tooth. And uh, then we have to do our job and fix them, make them look good again. And a small chip is something that really is not a huge deal to be taken care of. No, sometimes if, if it's uh, just a tiny chip, we can actually abrade it off and polish it and it's, it's not that visible and uh, we don't have to do anything else. It, it gets to be very simple. Sometimes we'll have to put a little bit of bonding there, um, but uh, many times we don't have to do that. And if it's the corner of the tooth, that could be more of an issue. Well, that's more complicated. Uh, just getting the uh, bonded filling to stay in there is more difficult, but the new adhesive uh, technology we have today allows us to do that efficiently and we can still uh, repair a tooth and make it look uh, indistinguishable from, uh, from what it was before. What if the tooth breaks off at the gum line? How do you go about fixing that? Well, that's that's a lot more complicated. Then the uh, the nerve is actually uh, involved, and that means the nerve has to be removed. We have to uh, place a post in the tooth and actually uh, prepare a crown for the tooth. But again, uh, the tooth will look identical to the way it used to look before once we're finished. And then what happens if the tooth is knocked out of your mouth? What do you do then? Well, uh, that's a, that's a problem that happens from time to time. We're actually able to reimplant a tooth. Uh, we, we take that tooth, we, we would do a root canal treatment on the tooth outside the mouth, and then we'd re-implant it. The, uh, the, the issue with uh, re-implanting a tooth is it has to be done within a half an hour. If it's, if it's more than half an hour, uh, the prognosis for that tooth to stay in for an appreciable amount of time goes down. But we can re-implant a tooth, and, and we've done that in our office. It'll last uh, 10, 15 years or more sometimes. And then finally, if you're in an auto accident, that's another way that a tooth injury can be sustained. Well, uh, auto accidents are obviously a, a sudden impact. Uh, the, the person will fly forward and uh, oftentimes hit their, their mouth on a, a dashboard or whatever. Uh, even if the seat belt's buckled, a lot of times the, the shock and the force of the accident will cause the teeth to come together and even the teeth in the back uh, will fracture and frequently you'll get fracture lines in the tooth and no symptoms right after the car accident but uh, years later the tooth will discolor and you'll start to get these uh, these uh, uh, you'll, you'll get some pain in the tooth and uh, you'll actually have the tooth fracture more and it'll it'll necessitate more uh, treatment either a root canal or or possibly a crown. Dr. Goringer how can our viewers get more information? Well we're we're on the internet our uh, our website is Dr. DrGoringer.com. Our phone number is 570-675-3646. All right, Dr. Bruce Goringer from the Goringer Family, a dental practice in the Back Mountain. Thanks so much for being here. We'll catch you again next time. Good to see you, Dave.